Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 80046, Monkey Kid's Cloud Airship from the LEGO Monkey Kid theme. This set contains 540 pieces, 4 minifigures, and 1 cat, and will retail for $49.99 in the US. This set does not officially release until June 1st, 2023, but it was sent to me early by the LEGO group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Before I get started, I'd just like to ask you guys to please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm doing a ton of early LEGO reviews right now, including the rest of the June Monkey Kid sets, as well as the June Ninjago sets, and and Lego City sets, so if any of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, by liking this video and subscribing to the channel, it'll help put those videos in your feed as soon as they're posted and also really help support me and the channel. But with all that being said, let's get on to this review. So here's Monkey Kid's Cloud Airship, and when I first saw this set, I was like, ooh, that doesn't look good, and then I saw more pictures and I was like, wait, that actually is really cool. But now that I have it in hand, it's kind of a mixture of the two. I don't love it, but I think it's definitely solid, so let's take a look at everything that's in it. So Airship is definitely a very unique vehicle for Monkey Kid, even though every Monkey Kid vehicle has the same color scheme. I'm happy at the very least they're doing very different vehicles and not taking the Ninjago approach of just doing, okay, uh, Jay's getting a car again, Lloyd's getting a bike again. Instead, so far, I don't know if they've repeated any vehicles aside from the mech. So yeah, airship, incredibly unique. So that is nice to see. You can see the base of the airship's kind of car-like. It's got like a windshield at the front and a little cockpit for a driver to sit. The set uses a boomerang piece with like a little dial on top of it to represent the steering wheel. That I think is very cute, very fun parts usage. And then it uses like airplane landing gear at the base. And those just hang sort of loosely, but when the sets plop down to the ground, they sort of fall into place. That's always very fun. You've got this sort of like mechanical sticker as you move back, and there's some tiny little exhausts here. But then in this back area, there's another little seat for a minifigure to sit, as well as a printed control panel piece, which you can see has lots of different dials on it. And if you can't tell, this is actually a removable little build. You can very easily just pop it off, pull it out, and this is meant to be a flyer. You can see the stud shoes on the side. These can actually be moved out if you want to. I guess change where they're aiming. And yeah, there's the one seat for one character to sit. So this could be a second seat for the airship or its own little thing, or I guess both. It's a fun option, it's a cute little removable flyer, but I don't have a ton to say about it. There's how Monkey Kid looks riding in it though. And there's Sandy in the front seat of the actual airship with Monkey Kid in the back on the flyer. There's also this little basket on the chain hanging off the side. You can see this could be moved forward and back, and you can rotate it to lower it down. This I guess could be used to pick people up or drop them off when it's like flying through the air. I like that, it gives you more something to play with. I know I would've loved something like that as a kid. But you can see that's connected to like this post in the center. And on the other side, that post is more open. And it's got lots of open technicals. But I think it works fine in the set. This is meant to be a machine. And the colors are fine too. Like it's all gray and black. There's no like bright blue or anything. That definitely doesn't take me out of the immersion of the toy or anything. Moving up to the actual blimp, you can see it uses four of these like large rounded pieces and there's a few different stickers on them. This one has the monkey kid symbol, as well as the symbol which he's also used before, as well as the cloud symbol which he's also used before. Just all the different symbols that monkey kid has, they're all on here. On the other side you have a few more stickers. This one's pretty much exactly the same, but these two are a bit different. It looks like the balloon's been patched up a bit, MK wrote his own name, as well as the word hero. And this I believe is the symbol of the demons from this wave, and of course there's an X over it. There's some tiny little propellers to move the airship forward, as well as the monkey cloud pieces coming out the back, and these can be rotated up and down to change the direction of the airship, and that works pretty well. There's also a few tiny little exhausts out the back. These can be moved as well, though only a little bit, and of course there's one of those on each side. Then they use these giant tail pieces out the back to be one giant exhaust. There's a tiny little lantern hanging down. It's cute seeing these tail pieces used, because these are the ones that were used for the Ninjago core villains in the first wave, and I always love when a piece has been recolored for like one very specific thing, but then it's used in a completely different context in another set. So these pieces were recolored for those villains, but now they're being used for Monkey Kid, who's a hero, and it works just as well. And yeah, you can see there's three of them in a triangle formation here. The entire balloon part of this airship does look really good. I like it a lot. At the very top of the airship, there's a little stud shooter. You can see there's two handles, and you can turn it from side to side. Push down on it, of course, a stud shoots out. But you may be wondering, who's this for? Because there's no seat or anything. There's just a single stud. Well, that's because, of course, it's for Kitten Mo who comes in this set. We'll take a look at him when we take a look at the minifigures. But that is absolutely adorable to have that tiny little cat up there being in charge of the entire turret. And I guess we wanted to turn around and have it face the other way, you can move him to the other side. But that's not actually everything with the balloon, because there's a tiny bit of interior space. If you pull up on this bar right here, you can actually open up this part of the airship, and it's a little bit dark, let's see if I can take off that piece. Yeah, there you can see it a little bit better. Inside, there's a plant pot with a tiny little plant in it, and then there's a few sticker pieces on the walls. Here, let me see if I can remove them. So this first one, I believe this is actually meant to be a meme. You can see it's a picture of Monkey Kid and Monkey King playing this piano, but the way they're oriented, I think this is supposed to be a joke on the whole keyboard cat thing from like early 2000s internet. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a clip in the video if I remember. 
But yeah, I think this is Keyboard Cat, Monkey Kid, and Monkey King, which is very silly, but I absolutely love that. Someone on the Monkey Kid design team likes putting uh, little memes in their sets, because we had the uh, chill beats to relax and study to in the past. So yeah, I like this a lot. Very silly. And then there's another stickered part on the other side. This one's like a cork board, and it's got info about the bad guys, so it's got the demon symbol, and then the Azure Lion, and then like plans for the airship, and then like a cloud symbol. Then if we open up the other side, you can see in here is just a printed box of Pixie's Noodles. This came in a few different sets this year. Then once again, you have two more stickered pieces on the walls. This first one's like a little computer screen with a radar on it, and it looks like they're tracking down Sandy's weapon right here. And then the other one's a little picture with the demon symbol on it, and it's got a giant X on it. And that's most of what there is to the interior. Now you can fit minifigures in here if you wanted to, as like a place for them to sleep or whatever. However, there's no like actual studs or anything, so you just sort of have to plop them inside and then close it up around them. Which like, that definitely works, but it's also certainly not the most elegant solution. But yeah, I like that you have some storage space in here. And they did take the care to decorate the interior, even if it is a bit hard to access at times. I like it though. It does add a lot to this set. And that's about all there is to the main build of this set. We of course still have these side builds and the minifigures to look at, but honestly the more I look at here, the more I like this one. This is honestly really good. I'll talk about that more later in this video though, when I get to my overall thoughts. For now, let's take a look at the two side builds, then we'll get to the minifigures, and then we'll get to my overall thoughts. So we have two side builds of this set, three if you count the flyer that we already looked at, and the first of which is this little train piece. This has tactic pins as well as tactical on it, so you can connect it to any of the other terrain pieces from other Monkey Kid sets. But I think it's really cute. It reminds me of the little shrines from the 2011 and 2012 LEGO Ninjago sets that would always hold the golden weapons on them. And yeah, it's just like this little bit of water and it's holding up Sandy's weapon to, I guess, be a goal, right? Monkey Kid and Sandy are going out to collect Sandy's weapon, but the bad guys are trying to get to it first. There's a bit of a rock formation, there's a frog hanging out here and some flowers. I think this is really cute. Not a ton to it, but I like that it's here. Very nice inclusion. And then we also have this little build for the villains, and it's just this cart with the stud shooter on it. It's obviously black, gold, and purple to match the theming of the ink demons. And yeah, it's very simple, it works. It's stud shooter, you push down, stud shoots out. Not a ton else to say, but I'm happy you get some of the bad guys. The wheel pieces are cool, and you could probably attach it to a bigger build if you wanted to using that ball joint. So yeah, I think it's fun. Here are the first two minifigures in this set. We have MK and we have Sandy. This version of MK is the new, like, generic version for this wave. So while he's not exclusive to this set, he is new for this wave. And I think he looks pretty good. His leg piece is the same as the summer wave last year, but I think it works well enough. Dual little legs, which is cool to see. And I like, like, the teal belt that he has. But then his torso piece is all new and it's, like, this puffier jacket with one black arm and one red arm, which that black's a cool new color to incorporate because, of course, he's always had it in his hair and on his boots, but he's never really had it on any of his outfits. So it definitely makes this one stand out in a good way. I like the bit of metallic printing too, especially like on the one strap on the shoulder, that's fun. And then of course in terms of accessory, he just comes with the staff. Face print's very similar to things we've seen before. Just like big smell and a red face paint over his eyes. And then turning him around, very generic face on the alternate side, but still a good one. And then I really like this back torso print with like the metallic silver. And normally that cloud on his back's white, so switching it out for silver is super cool. I like that a lot. And then Power Up Suit Sandy is all new and exclusive to this set. The entire like main monkey head cast is getting these power-up suits, and they're all very similar to each other. They use the same leg piece, armor piece, and then of course they all have their own heads. The exclusive part on each of them is their torso, and they all swap out whatever the secondary color is. So for Sandy, it's orange, and then all of them use this teal. And the orange fits Sandy pretty well. In my opinion, it might be the ugliest color scheme of any of these suits, but of course they do all have to be different. And orange is Sandy's color, so I think it works. But yeah, I think some of the other suits look better. They also each switch like this symbol at the top, and Sandy's got like this bubbling symbol. Not sure what that means. I'm surprised this symbol's not just like a cat for Mo, because like Maze is a dragon, and Pigsies is just like a little pig. And then on the back, it looks like he's a little dragon face there too. That changes between each of the characters as well. I love like the little silver tendrils that all the suits have though, and the fact that everything's printed on a silver piece looks super cool. There's how Sandy looks with the beard removed, which will always be a little bit uncanny to me. But now you can see his full torso print with the beard removed, including that like orb in the center. And then turning him around, there you can see he does not have any alternate face because of course it would show through his mohawk. So yeah, in my opinion, two pretty good figures. For a $50 getting one exclusive is nice, and this is the cheapest way to get this new monkey kid. Then here are the next two figures in the set. We have the Golden Winged Eagle and we have an Ink Demon. The Golden Winged Eagle is not exclusive to this set. He came in two sets earlier this year. However, they were the two most expensive sets of the January wave, so this is a significantly cheaper way to get him if you didn't want to get either of those. And I think all around he's a pretty cool figure. All of these new demon figures for this year have like really interesting color schemes that are like very bright and flashy, and I think that's good in some ways and bad in others. I don't love like the teal on his ponytail. I feel like that's pretty out of place, but this like very light blue color they use for his skin is pretty cool And I like the bright orange for his beak though Maybe another color would have been better I think the biggest thing is the yellow on the torso and into the legs I feel like that doesn't really fit well with everything Those are the colors that like tie all the characters together 
But I don't know, maybe using gold instead of yellow would have been better. Because yeah, yellow on this guy, in my opinion, does not look great. The golden wings, though, look awesome. They're just one big molded part and they look super cool. And then his accessory is just like the spear with the tooth coming off of it. Taking his beacon wings off there, you can see his full torso print, as well as his full face print. And he definitely looks very creepy without that beak. But it's a nice alternate option to have. I think that printing is great, even if it is kind of scary. And then turning him around there, you can see his back torso print. We can see more of that like necklace continues around the back. And honestly, I think that looks pretty good because it is more golden. I think it's just the yellow on top of the blue without much gold. That's the part that, in my opinion, doesn't look great. Still, though, at the very least, a very unique figure, and a pretty important one for this season of Monkey Kid, so I'm very happy he comes in a much cheaper set to give more people an opportunity to get him. And then the final figure in this set is just an Ink Demon, and yeah, I don't have a ton to say about them. They come in lots of sets, and in my opinion, they're just okay figures. They're not bad by any means, they're just kind of boring. I like, like, all the dripping ink, that's super cool. Like, the way it's, like, hanging down, that's really neat. The few bits of gold printing are nice, but they're not super obvious on top of the yellow. And yeah, the yellow just feels very flat to me. I wish there was a bit more dimension to it. They've got like that demon symbol in the center that's also on this guy. But yeah, I feel like especially after seeing how the ink demons look in the show, these guys could have been a lot cooler. So if you like these figures, it's nice to get another one. And I always like when sets come with a generic villain. I just don't have a ton to say about him because he's kind of a nothing minifigure to me. Nice to get another, I suppose, but definitely not like a main reason to get this set. And not exactly a minifigure, but the final character in this set is Mo. And Mo is a kitten now for some reason. I watched the show. I, I don't think he's a kitten in the show. I don't know why <laughs> why they shrunk him to the sets, but I'm not exactly complaining because he is super cute. <laughs> Just a tiny little blue cat, a little bit of white around his mouth, and then like a tuft of orange hair. Yeah, I think this guy's super adorable. I'm happy he comes in a smaller set because the other set he came in was pretty darn big. But yeah, what's there to say about this guy other than he's cute and I love him? Just a really great inclusion all around. I'm happy he's here. And so overall, what do I think of the set? Honestly, I like this set. I think it's pretty good. Now, is it a must have? No, probably not. If you don't get this set, you're going to be missing too much. No, not really. But if you're a fan of Monkey Kid and you like don't have a lot of the figures in this set, honestly pick this one up. It's pretty good. It's on the cheaper end of Monkey Kid sets, which I did $50, like it's still not super cheap. But considering Monkey Kid's a very expensive line of sets, this is one of their smaller ones. But yeah, the build's fun. There's lots of stuff to do. Great selection of minifigures as well. And I think it's well worth the price too. You get a lot here. I like the side builds, I like the main build. Every figure in the set except for the Ink Demon is desirable because they're either exclusive or this is the cheapest way to get them. So yeah, you know what? I would recommend this set. Obviously not gonna be for everybody, but if you're a huge Monkey Kid fan, I think you'll like it. And if you've never bought a Monkey Kid set before but you wanna get just one, this might be a good one to start with because while it may not be the prettiest set ever from the outside, I genuinely think it's a lot of fun and just a great selection of stuff here. Feels very much like the kind of Lego set I would've had as a kid and I would've loved playing with. So whenever I have a set like that, I know it's a good recommendation. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!